Hi everyone, and welcome back. A Quiet Place is a movie about a family trying to survive in a post-apocalyptic world, forced to live in silence due to blind monsters with ultra-sensitive hearing. Spoilers ahead. Day 89. The movie opens with the sound of rustling leaves in an abandoned ghost town. As we enter into an empty grocery store, we see a family tiptoe barefoot through its empty aisles. The mother, Evelyn, silently looks through the medicine aisle, carefully picking through a stack of pills, before bringing it back to her son, Marcus. The older sister, Regan, looks at them over a counter, as the mother signals that he's okay. She walks over to her younger brother, Bu, who is drawing a rocket on the ground. He signals to Regan, Rocket, that's how we'll get away, then climbs the mostly empty shelves, and reaches for a space shuttle toy. The toy falls from the shelf, but Regan scrambles to catch it before it hits the floor. Meanwhile, the family's father, Lee, has scavenged some electronics for a radio which will boost its signal, as well as some cutting pliers for Regan. Evelyn signals to her family that it will be dark soon, and they prepare to leave when looks of horror crosses their faces. Bu is holding the electronic space shuttle toy in his hand, which Lee carefully takes from him, removing its two batteries. He signs to his youngest son, it's too loud. As the family departs, Regan sneaks the toy back to Bu, who then grabs the batteries on his way out. The family silently walk home on a trail of sand they've created. As they come to a walking bridge, they suddenly hear the electric sound of the space shuttle toy. A horrified Lee races back towards his son, but he's too late. A creature flashes before them, seizing the little boy. Day 472. It's been over a year since the day of the accident. Lee is in the basement of the farmhouse, where he set up an extensive surveillance system of cameras and monitors, as well as his radio and electronics, which he uses in hopes of contacting any other survivors. There are also scores of various news clippings, which report of an alien invasion. Lee attempts and fails again to make contact, as he crosses another of his list. Evelyn, meanwhile, is in a cellar where she prepares for a soon-to-be-born baby. She sets up an oxygen tank which is connected to an infant breathing mask. It sits next to a covered soundproof baby crib. Upon nightfall, Lee lights up a small metal drum as another flame softly glows in the distance, followed by more scattered across the mountains. Evelyn asks Regan to tell the father that dinner is ready, which she reluctantly does. After a silent prayer, they quietly enjoy their food on pieces of lettuce. Afterwards, Regan and Marcus is playing Monopoly when he accidentally knocks over a lantern, which sets the rug on fire. Lee quickly puts it out, but the family is terrified as they wait for the consequences. Loud banging is suddenly heard from the roof, and the sound of crunching is heard. Lee looks out the window and is startled by a raccoon that falls off the roof. Away from the house, the raccoon is quickly squashed by the monster. Lee heads down into the basement to work on a hearing implant to help his daughter hear. Evelyn comes down and shares a smile. They put on a set of earbuds and slow dance to Neil Young's Harvest Moon. Life on the farm was hard, but stable. The next day while Lee is pouring down more sand on their walking path, Evelyn is in the cellar checking her blood pressure. Her due date is just a couple of weeks away. She places a stethoscope on her abdomen, revealing a strong, healthy heartbeat. Regan enters the farmhouse, being careful only to walk on the marked spots on the floor which don't creak, and looks down into the basement where his father's working. He tells her that he's taken apart a radio and attempted to fix her implant, but she stops him and says that they never work. Lee, although disheartened, places them in her hands. Evelyn is trying to teach math to Marcus, when Lee tells her that he wants Marcus to come with him today. Although Regan wants to go, Lee says that she needs to stay safe until her hearing's fixed. She runs into her room and tries on the new hearing implant. When they don't work, she's devastated. Regan packs a bag which includes her cutting pliers and a wrapped object from her dresser, then sneaks out the phone. Lee takes his son to a river where he teaches him that making small sounds is okay, as long as louder sounds are nearby. Next to a waterfall, they can freely speak to each other without fear of being heard. Marcus tells his dad that Regan blames herself for what happened, and thinks that her dad hates her for what happened too. Lee looks at him and says that it was no one's fault. Marcus says that if he still loves her, he should tell her sometimes. Regan has arrived at a walking bridge, where a makeshift memorial has been constructed for Bu. She unwraps the object from her dresser, revealed to be the space shuttle toy, then uses the pliers to cut a wire which enables the toy to light up without making any noise. Back at home, Evelyn is carrying a laundry bag up from the basement when it gets snagged on the stairs. She manages to pull it loose, exposing the point of a nail sticking up from the stair. On the way back home, Lee and Marcus are startled by an old man coming out of the woods. They notice the dead body of his wife on the ground nearby. Lee implores the old man to stay silent, but instead he lets out a primal scream. Lee grabs Marcus and runs, as the man is quickly snatched by a monster. Back at home, Evelyn's water breaks. She quickly heads down to the basement and impales her foot on the exposed nail. She manages not to scream, but drops the picture frame she was holding. Forcing in the tears, Evelyn pulls her foot out of the nail, and stumbles to a box in the corner of the room. 
Red light bulbs are turned on to serve as a warning signal. She then staggers across the room for a mechanical kitchen timer as a loud growling sound is heard from inside the house. Lee has returned home and is horrified to see that the emergency signal has been switched on. As Evelyn hides in a corner of the room, she hears a terrifying mix of clicking and growling as the monster makes its way down the room. Still holding back from her tears, she bites down on her thumb from the pain. The monster opens its slimy ears to search for its prey as the timer sounds, it immediately leaps towards it, giving Evelyn time to run upstairs. To her horror, she sees another monster in her front yard. Lee tells his son that his mother is in danger, and that he needs to go and make a sound louder, and that he can do this. Evelyn goes upstairs into the bathroom and sinks into the tub as blood drools across it. Lee grabs his shotgun as Marcus uncovers a bundle of fireworks. Evelyn winces as the monster inches closer. Unable to hold back any longer, she howls out in pain as the fireworks illuminate the night sky, which Regan sees. Lee searches the house and walks into the bathroom where he sees an empty bathtub covered in his wife's blood. He begins to weep, believing Evelyn's dead but is overjoyed to discover that she's safe and hiding in the shower with their newborn baby. Lee carries both of them into the soundproof bunker they've been preparing, and hides the baby inside the crib. Marcus meanwhile is walking back towards the house when he hears an alien. He makes a run for it into the cornfield, running straight into a tractor wheel, knocking himself unconscious. Regan has returned home and sees the beam from Marcus's flashlight coming from the cornfield. Distracted, she doesn't hear the monster behind her. But just as the monster moves closer, Regan's implant starts producing a high-pitched feedback loop, distressing the monster, causing it to run off. All while Regan is oblivious to what just happened. She finds Marcus and they retreat to the top of a grain silo and wait for their father. Evelyn wakes up to see their plan has worked. However, they don't have time to celebrate as Lee goes to look for the kids. As he leaves, we see water leaking into the silo. On top of the silo, Marcus signs, Don't worry, he'll come for us. But Regan shakes her head, replying, He'll come for you. Marcus goes and gives his sister a hug as Lee sees them on the cameras. Evelyn wakes up to see that the cellar has flooded. The baby is sleeping in the soundproof crib, but the top is open. And on top of this, one of the monsters have found their way inside the room. Evelyn carefully wades across the water, picks up her baby and creeps to the back of the cellar as the monster continues to look for them. The two children are arguing whether they should wait for their dad or return home themselves when Marcus falls into the silo. As he's slowly drowning in the grain, the alien in the cellar with Evelyn is drawn by the noise. The hatch breaks away completely and falls into the silo, just missing Marcus. Regan jumps into the silo and successfully saves her brother. Regan and Marcus both sit safely atop the silo door, but then they hear a crash. The alien from the flooded cellar jumps into the silo as the kids cover themselves with the hatch door. They seem doomed until Regan's implant once again lets out a high frequency screech, forcing the alien to run. Lee reunites with his children, but he hears another alien nearby, telling the children to quickly hide in a truck. He's quickly attacked by the alien, which causes Marcus to scream. Upon hearing this, the alien heads off the truck as Regan's ears begin ringing again. However, this time it malfunctions and the sound suddenly stops. The alien immediately jumps onto the truck and starts ripping it open. Lee, who is badly injured, makes eye contact with his daughter and signs, I love you, I've always loved you, before letting out a yell. Lee is taken as the truck rolls back into the house. There they reunite with their mother. However, they hear the alien approaching, so they retreat back into the house and head down into the basement. Regan, who was never allowed down here, sees for the first time her father's research, and the many hours her father had spent learning about mechanics and anatomy in an attempt to repair her implant. She's overwhelmed with emotion just as the lights begin to flicker. The monster walks down into the basement and has them cornered. Regan quickly scans around the room. What is their weakness? Taking out the new hearing aid Lee made for her, she switches it on and dials the frequency, causing the alien to tremble. Stumbling onto a nearby microphone, Regan presses her hearing aid against it, causing the monster to violently convulse until it collapses. The mother and daughter look at each other in disbelief, but only for a moment before it staggers onto its feet. Evelyn, with Lee's shotgun, blows its head to pieces. It isn't long before they see on the surveillance monitors that their shotgun blast had attracted dozens more. The mother and daughter look at each other without words, as Regan begins turning up the speakers, and Evelyn pumping the shotgun with a wry grin on her face.